All right. Hello, everyone. Well, everyone's no one at the moment. Um, just waiting for people to come in. Going to be playing with perfect pearls today. I have not touched these for years. Hello, Eileen. Hang on. Just got cream on my hands before I can touch the mouse. I have to add you. Okay. Hope you're feeling better. Add. And then, no, it's dot. Okay. Okay, hold on. Come on. Okay. Um, right. Hey, Da. Good to see you. Um, Doc's here, but um, she's jumped in to be on the stream, so I don't know what's going on. Hey, Debbie. Happy birthday. Oh, well, I guess it's belated by now, but um, I did wish you one. Um, yeah, I don't know what Doc's doing. I honestly don't. Hey, Sherry. Okay, let me see. Are you there, Doc? Oh, she's gone. Okay. I don't know what she's doing. But anyway, hope you got spoiled, Debbie. For those watching the recording, um, maybe you need to zip past us probably for about five minutes while we get sorted here. We're saying hello to everyone that's coming in. Um, so, yeah. Not much happened here. I nearly didn't strain because I didn't know what to do. But then I thought, oh, perfect poles. I was looking around. I thought, yeah, I haven't used those in years. So... Why not? And for those card makers, it's great for that. Um, but also you could, I'm sure you could do it. Well, page are hot. Usually hot as well, but it's, I couldn't have it with, um, couldn't have it with, perfect pearls and I really can't remember what colours I have. Oh, I've got the copper. I've got the perfect pearl. I don't know. That's, um, that's the same as the perfect pearl. Got the inter inference blue. Inference. Inference. Perfect gold. Another perfect gold. Have I doubled up on everything? Probably. Probably thought I um, had them and didn't. And did. Thought I didn't have them. Okay. Red. Stinking red. Hey, Cindy. Um, pewter. Yeah, I've got two of them all, I'm sure. Silly girl. Oh, that wasn't on very well. Heirloom gold. Okay, I like that. Oh, green patina, I like that. Interference green. Um, interference violet. And the green again. Okay, well, we got five double ups. I must have got two sets and then bought the rest. So, on their own, I would imagine. Don't know, but that's like a yeah, that's a perfect bronze. Okay, must have the metallics with it. Okay, now I don't know how this is going to work because I really, I hardly played with them, I'm sure of it. So I'm going to try some cardstock first. And my trimmer needs a new blade. All right, so first off, we're going to rub the um, embossing pillow over it to remove any of the oils so no perfect pearls um 
sits on it. The only thing I don't have is the sweep brush. So I'm going to have to try and find something that's going to work, you know, that, that gets off the excess um, Perfect Pearl powder. Inference is a good on black. Good interference. Interference, what are they called? Is that blue? Okay. Um, interf yeah, interference. Okay, we'll do the interferences on those then, Debbie. Thank you. Right, now I've got some Versamark um, here, so, um, embossing ink. That's an old one by the look of it. Oh, one thing I didn't get was stamps. Well, let's do a background first. Hey, Kat. So I'll get a stencil maybe for this. And let's see. I don't know what we're going to go with. It all depends on the stencil I use, I guess. Oh, and I need a foam brush too. I thought I ordered those. You round foam. No, I've got foam. It's the um, felt I haven't got. Okay. That'd be nice. We could probably do those later on, but not as the background. Hey, Peg. Yep, lose it or use it or lose it. That's it. Um, hmm. You don't know. Maybe I'll bring out my um, um, crafters workshop once, maybe. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, oh, no. That one, maybe. Okay, let's try that one. This one's the um, tropical and it's colour box. Whoops, hang on. I have to get a. Um, Sticky note, so I know where to put that one back. Right, let's have a go. All right, now that's going to cover it all, so that's good. I like that. And maybe I should take it down. Hey, Doc, you finally got in. Good. Maybe I need to put this on the back of the um, card stock. Come on. And then put that one there. Um, do I have to sort of go most of that or... Yeah, maybe most of that one, I think. So let's get this. Okay. That can go there. That can go there. Hey, don't move on me. All this prep probably won't stink and help. All right, let's just do this, shall we? All right, now, where did my phone box go? All right, where's my ones? I think I bought those too. Have you saw some? Oh dear, okay, well that's all right, we can use. We can use. Ah, I should have been more prepared than the tray. Oh well. Alright, so we're gonna have to use these ones. These ones. Alright. Okay, the foam ones are dome ones actually. They're probably better for this because they sort of had the dome on it and get down a bit 
easier. Okay, let's try it anyway. I don't know how juicy that um, pad is, ink pad. But we'll soon find out, won't we? Oh, Dot, what are you doing going into the um, stream as if you're going to be playing as well? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no, I did order that brush thank goodness the sweet brush you really need that i think i don't know what i'm going to use to get the excess off all right done it let's take this off and now you can actually see it on there so it has covered it what color are we going to do we'll do green patina no air go we want the interference don't we um interference blue no one's a green interference green oh he goes nothing all right so uh clean the brush do you want to use the big one or do you want to use the little one no the big one's fine right so let's get in there and just What good product? Just a tiny little bit more. Oh, it's a bit juicy on that one. Okay, now what brush am I going to use to get it all off? You know, I need a sweet brush. I need it. Anyone got any ideas? What I can use other I think it's a bit stiffer. So let's see in my brushes here what I could use. No, you can still see it on the background there. Don't they know they should be? Sending this to me, Ponto. This is really stiff, but it might be. Is it new to you, Dark? Okay. This is a bit too stiff. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have extra. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to spritz it to set the. Um, powder so i'm just using a distress spray because it's got um it's very fine let's put the lid back on the interference green and you just want a light one okay give it a minute i'm gonna blow dry it blow dry it Keep on it, but um, what I have bought also is the Ranger heat tool because it's not as strong as these that I have, the um, heat gun that I have, so it might be better. So I might just heat set it a bit away from it. So let's see. Hey, CB, good to see you. <laughs> Sorry, noise pollution. You can still see the flecks of that green on the black outside of the images, but it's not that bad. So you shouldn't curl up the paper either. And that's why I think I need the... Um, The heat, the range of heat too. So 
Haram. Okay, so I go over that. It's set. It's not coming off. And now, what we're going to do with it now? We could put maybe an. Okay, hang on. Let's use some watercolor paper because we can use the perfect pearls with as a watercolor sort of thing. So let's pull this out. Cut it down. What sort of image am I going to put on there? Obviously a flower, I'd say. Um, hold on. I'm going to stuff everywhere here. I haven't put anything away from the project that I was working on before I started streaming, which I should have but I've got no room. Okay. Let's just... We don't want it too big, so... Let's see now. I've got to have a look for flowers now. Should have, should have, should have. Okay, well, let's do this one. I don't want to do that. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Look, oh, that's the perfect size for that. All right, this is what I'm doing. Because I haven't got any stamps in front of me that are flowers. And so. Let's just put that down. With resin also, CB. I'll tell you what, CB, if you don't get up there and stream one of these days. <clears throat> okay. All right. All these people that have done these techniques, and here I am doing it on my own for the first time, I'm sure of it. Okay. Do you want to put it in? Yeah, I think I want to go over it and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I've got some red, but that's going to look more Christmassy. So maybe some violet, interference violet. <laughs> I know that CB, that's what pees me off. All right, I need just a little bit of that. Let's just see. And we'll see what we get out of that, hey? Eh? And then I'll probably want some green. I might do a different green. Um, what was that one? What's this one? Inter that's the interference green. That's the interference green. I haven't got an, oh, what's this one? Green patina. Why not? I know, right? But then I forget after using it so long, CB, that I've got no idea what I'm doing. That's the reason you guys get laughs out of my streams because I'm, Pretty hit and miss. All right, so I want a bit of water on those. So I'll spray some water, wet it, get a brush now. And I just want sort of like a fine brush. Oh, this will do probably. All right, wet it. Um, okay, it should be yellow. I do have yellow, do I? Perfect. Oh, what's that called? Bronze. No, I thought I had a yellow. What are these? They're the perfect, the white, the clear, or whatever they are. Hmm, thought I had a yellow. We do gold. I might mix some gold in with that. Oh, we'll not mix it, but have it so that um, we can add some of that to it. Okay. And there. Okay. Spritz that one. Oh, I'm going all over here. All right. Um, water. 
Right. Oh. All right. Let's go in with. Bit of the purple, um, and just go over that. Don't know how it's going to go over the um, over the green. It looks like it might work okay. Probably going over leaves and everything, but I don't care. It is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna no, let's continue with this one. They're leaves too, so oh well. And I'm not going right at the top. I'm gonna try and mix the gold in with it. So I should probably try to do that now. Get some gold and just sort of Blend that in. It's probably going to, um, and it's probably going to feather out because it's not really ee, flat. So we'll see. That needs a bit more water. Okay, just a little there, little in there, little in there, and I'll put the um, purple underneath it. Okay, that's that's a leaf. <laughs> uh, well, maybe it's not. Okay, and purple. It's going to be interesting to see how this, it might even be a bit distressed, like me. Um, hey, now I'm mixing them, idiot. Um, okay, didn't put any gold there. Or there. Right, I'm going to come back in with the green. Well, that's a purity green. That really is the green patina, I think that's called. Cool. It's so pretty. I bet it's a hot mess underneath it. You wait and see. Oh dear. Okay. It'll be a one hot mess. I can just see it. That's okay. We'll put some gesso over it and make some pretty colours. That's what we'll do. I don't know where I have and gone and where I have. So it'll be a bit hit and miss. Everyone ready for the reveal? Run for your life. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Everyone's in it. Well, that looks a bit like a hot mess, but it's not too bad. I've done worse. Um, 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 Eh, 
not too bad. It'd be all right for a background on a card, maybe. Okay. There we go. Not bad. It's very shimmery. We don't need to miss that, but we will need to dry it. So noise pollution. Might take the um, thing off the back. Now, what we can do with the rest of the mess over here is get another bit of cardstock. I might get a bit of white cards. Or oh, why don't we just get some watercolour? That needs a bit more. Oh, that green and purple mixed up together is not real nice. But anyway, we'll see what this is going to end up like once it's um once I've used all the colours and dabbed them up. Okay. We'll soon see. Okay, that's what it's like now. You can't really see. There we go. All right, we'll just put that aside for now. Now, noise pollution. Ugh, hang on. Goodness me. Should put this in the water there. Okay, wipe this up. And noise pollution. Somehow. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, Doc. Thank you. Yeah, the wildflower purple and gold looks good, but I, I do think that I should have done a, a lighter, maybe I should have done the um, the green patina for the um, ferns and then the green interference for the stems. But, yeah, the purple and gold looks good. Now we can sort of cut that down and put it on a um, card base if I so wanted to. And then I'd just um, cut out a bit of white cardstock and put the sentiment on and stick it on there maybe. But, yeah, they sort of, they're sort of bulbous, sort of 3D. Hmm. Okay. All right. So what we can do now is what? How are we going to use it now? With the stem? We'll use that on the watercolour paper. Okay, let's put this down. Should get a baby wipe here. Okay, put that out of the road. Okay. I reckon the red would look so nice on the back, on the black. So what I might do, maybe, you don't know. Let's do a, um, a butterfly stamp and colour it in. But what I want on the background. Um... Oh, in the background, if I do a nice, pretty butterfly on there, I could do some nice greenery again. I'm going to put this one in the water too. I've got all my other stamps and things in the water here from the other day, and it's yellow water. Okay. Well, anyway, I've got a big mess to clean up after this. So what am I going to do on the background? Maybe I might just do a bubble stencil on that. I think. Hold on. I've got some timmies, but they're a bit um, narrow. So, well, let's just see what we've got. We could use that one. Oh, hang on. I think I have. 
that'd be nice, don't I? But then that's, yeah, no. Um, 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 um. We'll see, we've still got some more flowers we could use. Hmm. That one looks nice. Or we could do flowers and then have the butterfly stand up. But if we're going to do that, it has to be a totally different colour that I use. And I haven't got a big variety. Hmm. Let me leave that one open. I do like that one too, though. Oh. And no, too geometric. Hmm. Or maybe we could do that one. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I might just do a swirl, I think. We're going to do that for the um, background. I see this will be, this will be cut down. So these are just all, they don't sort of work together, but... Yeah, let's go there. All right. We're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it on the black, but then I'm going to do a watercolour with the perfect pearls on the um, watercolour paper. Okay. Okay, and we're going to do this one this way. Not that. Maybe, yeah, because it's going to be cut down. So. Right, so what colours am I going to do the butterfly? Oh, I must, oh, there it is. Okay. Maybe we should do the butterfly first before we do this. Maybe we will. Okay, let's get a bit of paper underneath this because then we don't really know. Okay, butterfly stamp. Oh, and I might have to clean it too. Or maybe we do a group of three butterflies. Now I'm going to have to find that one in flight. No, we're not. We're just going to do a big butterfly. Hold on. All right. I won't get my fave. I'll get another one so it's clean yeah but there's a lot of detail in that hmm <laughs> no i'm gonna get my fave i want to get my fave so what i need to do first oh no not really because i'm gonna cut it out okay well that's good um i might clean it first onto a bit of Got paper. Okay, so we're going to get the verse mark. And then stamp it. Just so I can get some of that um, black off. Well, that looks pretty good. So I can do that. Oh, let's now what the flattish side of this and I've got no idea which is which so we're just going to use that side probably don't need to do that but anyway okay actually what we should do is choose our colors first um 
obviously we're going to have to have blue patina. Um, interference red. And maybe some gold. So if we have those, is red and gold going to make Look, we've got the violet. It looked really good. Violet, pearl, and the blue. And I might do the red for the interference background. I like that. Yeah. Okay, gold and purple butterfly. All right, CB. So now I'm going to grab that out. Get some in there. Let's put it down there. And then you have the road. I don't want to get stuck on you. I almost said the wrong word. Um, I'm going to do the purple, violet, whatever it is. Probably too much, but anyway. Oh, an Arizona tea. Not a big tea drinker. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, that's a different colour. I might have to have that. Hmm, don't know now. Okay, well, let's see what they look like when I spritz. Oh, don't go away. That's too much. Okay. The spritz and why you can't quite see there. Hold on. Now I get that's the perfect pearls brush. So I want to get this one, the watercolor. And right, I've got to stamp this on now. Okay. All right. She gone down. Yes, she is quite picky about her coffee. And I think you found out why, CB. You've even bought some because it's so yummy. All right. Can I see it there? Yes, I can just. Okay, let's try this. All right. So, um, let's start off with, we'll do... This one in here. That doesn't look quite nice yet. Okay. I'm going to do the purple in here can't even see it you know maybe i should have just um you know what i should do hey go away i'm going into the gold then that purple's yuck i'm white Now, why did I do that? Because you know what? I think I should have stamped it first in the black and then gone over it with the Versa mark so I didn't go out. So it gave me, like Heat said it, so it gave me a um, an edge. I think that's what I should have done. And let's just finish this and see. This looks pretty crap purple on the um, white cardstock. Oh, because you know why? 
I'm not supposed to um, watercolour it. I should have done it with the dark stamp. That's what I should have done, you silly girl. Idiot. Don't tell Barb I said that. Okay. That purple looks I must have had some of the blue on that. Anyway, let's go in with the gold. Not watching chat. I'm so embarrassed. Dickhead. Sorry. That blue does turn out quite pretty, but yeah, no, I don't like that. Let me see what I can do about it. Noise pollution. What's it on black here? Yeah, it's there in Boston, Canada. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, but once I started, I realised I missed this thing. What I could do is go over that um, with a black stamp anyway and just, not a black, I think I might go over it with the blue, a blue ink. Let's see what I've got. I need a um, permanent one, so Paradise Teal. No, cobalt, no, let's do Deep Lagoon, it's fairly dark. Okay, where did my stamp go? Who took it? Who took my stamp? Because I'm going to do the other way first, like after this, but I just wanted to see what it would look like. Where the heck did I put my stamp? It's nowhere to be. Oh, it's up here. Sorry. Yeah, exactly, Peg. All right, now I've got to clean that. Hold on. Okay. Wipe it off. All right. Now I need my stamp and this positioning tool for this. And guess what? I think I used it the other day and it's on my desk somewhere and I don't know where. I found it. Wow. Okay. So let's do it this way. Here we go. So I want to get right over it. So. That's what the stamp positioning tool's for. I'll probably even get it wrong, CB. Okay. Ugh, didn't really work, did it? Okay, that's all right. Let's try it. Okay. I'm going to try that, okay? <coughs> hmm, excuse me. Okay. I think I just moved that. I don't know whether it was the paper or the cardstock. 
All right, here we go. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> I probably stuffed it up. Let's see. Ha ha, not too bad at all. Very distressed looking. But lined it up. NSCB. That actually looks quite nice. So I can cut that out later and put it on the background. But next up, what I should have done in the first place. Where did my watercolour paper go? I ripped it up, cut it up, and put it back in here. Okay. over there so I can lose you again okay? okay right now <coughs> let's stamp it I'm actually going to stamp it in that blue I really like that and then just um put some here I go I didn't bring a drink by me I'm gonna have to have a suck on a lolly hold on here comes the tickle in the throat all right. What I could do is ink it with clear embossing powder and put black and um, clear embossing ink and put black embossing powder over it. Maybe I should do that. Um, I'll just ink it up because you can. <coughs> this, even though. I don't know whether that's going to, hold on, whether that's going to um, stay um, wet enough to emboss it. So let's try it anyway. Try to find the clear bottom of side, guys. Can you find where? That's how long it's been since I've used it. Um, another bit of paper. All right. Night egg. I know. Damn daylight savings. <coughs> okay. Get it all ready. I'm going to ink it up with that and then clear and boss it. Okay, so where is it? <coughs> what did I do with my bit of, um, here we go. Let's just, where's, right here, embossing pillow. Okay. <coughs> That's probably wet there. Yeah. Now, ink it up and put that, um, Clear embossing powder on it straight away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quickly. <coughs> so, sorry, got my list. I'm going to have to go and get a drink of water. Okay. Okay, you can see a bit on there. Hold on. And then what I might do is actually use the two different blues that I have. Black will look better. Sorry, I never listened to you, no. Noise pollution. Excuse me, guys. I have to go and get a drink of water.
Once and then I'm falling. Oh dear. Aircon. Okay. That should be dry now. Put the lid on the clear embossing powder. And now <coughs> actually the blue and the gold. Oh hang on. I've still got a lolly in my mouth. I can't chew it. Oh, it's an all day sucker. Hold on, because oh. I think I want to use, where did my, I don't want to get my brushes mixed up, that's all, right, I'm going to mute you for a minute, if I could find my mouth. Sorry, guys. That was cruel. All right. So should I use the purple and gold or should I do a couple of blues in there? I think mean, just the gold would look nice in there. I don't know. No, I do. All right. Let's do the – now, I don't want the purple in there now because it's got the blue. Yes, CB, the black would have been better. All right. So I want the other blue as well. This is the interference blue, and I think that's the blue patina. So okay. Ah, spray it. The mouse out of the road. Oh dear. All right. Um, just a little bit of this one, I think. <coughs> really there. I'm so sorry, guys. I think I'm coming down with something. Okay. It looks very messy, this blue. So I'm only going to use a little bit of it. Up the top, I think. Maybe it'll... um. Maybe it will blend better. Hold on. I'll get the um this pretty blue. Oh, that's pretty. 
sort of mix it in a bit there. And then what I want to try and do, I think, is some, um, oh, maybe lightly go over the top of those raised bits. I wonder if I could. very pale there so I might have to go back in in a minute really don't like that let's see anyway let's see what how we can fix it okay so noise pollution You're going to be thinking, oh, oh, I wonder if the um, bronze would look nice underneath this. I wonder if I could, oh, I don't know. You know what? When that's yeah, no, sorry. Just thinking quietly. I want to use. Okay, that's how it is at the moment, and I don't like it. There's that blue's not showing up enough. So um so I wonder if I stamp that again. No, I won't do that. Stamp it again, maybe, and put some gold. No, I'm not going to do that. What am I going to do? Because I was thinking the dry, like, put it on, stamp it with Bursa Mark. Okay, okay, black paper. Let me try and fix this first, right? Hassle me something. All right. Okay. Come back in with a bit more of that blue. Some of it's really pretty and others is not so much. <clears throat> I've watered it down too much, so you know what? I'm just going to get a little bit more. Just a little bit and put on there and then I can yeah that's better not so wet Jan not so wet and see Pigments in there now. It looks really pretty. Okay. While well, that's to the side drying, it looks quite pretty actually. There's more blue there. More of that pretty blue than um, 
the yucky patina blue, but you can't really see it on the screen. So I'm just going to put that over there and stamp it in black. <clears throat> just like CB wanted. Okay, just to appease her. Oh, dear. I think this is what I do for her. All right, black. <clears throat> Let's get some. Oh, what a spin of white spin now. I've got so much junk behind it. Here's some black. I'll clean this off first. Black paper. Sit quietly. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, black paper. Ink it up in black. Oh, ink it up um, just with um, Versamark. That's all we need. Oops, got to dry it first. <laughs> That's true, CB. Eileen's not here tonight, so someone's got to push me and tell me what to do. Oh, here. It's too clear, and then I can just. The black will just show through. Black paper, clear embossing powder. Okay. Then what am I doing with it? Tell me what I'm doing with it then, Eileen. Um, <laughs> CB, what do I do when I ink it up with the birth mark? Use clear, right? Okay, I can do that. I'm going to find this, okay. Oh, clear embossing powder. What do I do with that? Here. Now what? Okay, that's on there. Now what? Pete said it. Then use your pearls. Oh, okay. Dry pearls. You heat set it. Okay. Really? Really? But if I heat set that, it will be hot then. But dry pearls? Okay, heat set it first. Put my lid on my. Ooh. Okay, I'm heat setting it. Right, and use the wet pearls now. I'm assuming so. First, heat set, then use your perfect pearls as watercolor as you were doing. Okay, I'm not using that ugly color there. Get it out of the road because it needs to be with other colors, not pretty colors. Okay, I'm going to use. This blue, which I've got some down here, and maybe the gold. I'm going to get oh, up. I should have done this, shouldn't I? Where did that little bit of paper go that I was swiping off? I don't know what I did with it now. Jeez, please. Oh, I should have cleaned up before I did it. Okay, I get that now. Here it is, I found it. Okay. 
yuck. Okay. Right. Let's start this again. <sighs> right. Thinking, Jen, thinking. Don't want the... I don't think I'm going to do the bronze under, on the... Um, copper, I mean, on the background. So if I do that, that was a pretty green. The blue looks so pretty, but well, maybe I can have the blue and green together. Okay, I'm going to. Blue and green should never be seen, but oh, sniffles now. Oh, what did I do with that? It's over here. I didn't put it away. Okay, probably need a bit more of the blue, maybe. Don't know. Probably not. We'll see. Now I'm going to start with the green down the bottom and the blue at the top, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, don't work on white paper, guys. Oh. So pretty. Oh dear, excuse my sniffles. Uh. That is so, so pretty. Just trying to get the right light. Okay, I'm going to try and blend a little bit of that green with it. So let me just start a bit up here. Oh, oh, oh. And you know what I'm going to do? Um, I think I'm going to try and go over that embossing, the raised bits. Try and go over the raised bits with some um, um, gold. That looks pretty. All right. What am I going to do his body? Leave it black or what? Maybe. Or we could do I don't know. I might do it in the blue. Mm. Just a little bit. Sort of can't see it, uh, much there. So what I'm going to do now, well, maybe I should try and rub a bit of um, gold wax over the top of it. I'll probably stuff it. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's do 
the background now. And I'm going to do it on the black. Okay, what was I going to do? Did I get anything out for it? Did I do? Yeah, I was going to do the um, swirls, wasn't it? I don't know where it's gone. It's run away. Oh, it's right here. So, oh, because it's on there. Okay. So I started to do it, didn't I? Here, yeah, right. Okay. I do have waxes, and we're going to try that um, CB. But first, I want to try and do the background. So I'll get the um, foam pad, foam thing. What colour I'm going to use? I think I did want to use this one. This is the um, perfect copper. Could do the red. No, nah, it'll look too much like Christmas. Okay, perfect copper. Oh, and then I'll grab a bit of that out. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to dip the brush into it there. Oh, dry. We're going to do it dry. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. I have to buy some of those domed foam, foam pieces. So I think they'll really get in there better than the flat one. Okay, let's see what I've got. Uh, okay. All right, brush. Idiot, just take it off. Jeez, now see that's how that's how much of a um attention span I have. So pretty, this copper. Excuse me, with the sniffles. Now, I want to try, I'm sure we could, I want to try doing it over a painted surface. I reckon we could. What do you reckon, guys? A CB expert. Does it work? See, some of them, but a lot of the um, perfect pearls, some of them didn't. So, just going to try and go over it. Probably brush off anyway. I wondered what was up there. I thought it was a bit bare. Okay. All right. We got it on there. Now. Oh dear. Okay. I'm gonna try and. Brush it off now. Huh. <laughs> Welcome back, Da. It should work. Yeah, that's what I think. See, 
a lot of it's coming off because it wasn't really stamped too well. But that's okay, it's on your background. And I'm not using the right brush to get it off. That's all right. And now we need to heat set that. We're going to need to spritz it first so we can set it. Okay. I think I've got it all covered. All right. And then, oh, dear. Okay. Heat set it. Noise pollution. See, and this is this is what it shouldn't do. It shouldn't curl up. It's just because the heat gun is too hot. So that's why I bought the um, Ranger heat tool because it doesn't blow a fierce, strong heat out. It's just very light and it dries it rather than blows it. off it before I melt it into it. Go on the back. going to have to be um, stuck down well and truly under a card back but anyway okay let's get some wax hang on i tried this what waxes do i have oh i bought some finnabear uh, metallic waxes would they work let's see what colors i have Okay, I had oh, oh, oh. I wonder what peacock would look nice. Would be too close to the colour. Where's the bar? Butterfly. Or because that's graphite and that one's heather hill. Don't know what colour that is. Heather Hill. Heather Hill's like a purple. Hmm. Okay, oh, let me open it. Well, I'll get it closer to you and see what you reckon. This is the graphite. Now, I don't think we want the graphite. I haven't opened the peacock one, it came later. I hate how they do this packaging, it's just gone berserk. Just ridiculous. Uh, guess what? So my scissors come in handy. Uh, goodness me. What a joke. Okay. Do I want to use... Oh, that looks good. The purple or the peacock? Hang on, I'll come. Purple or the peacock? Ah! Okay. Want to try and. Uh. That's not the one. I want the black one, idiot. I think I want the peacock. Okay. 
Hang on. Oh, it's just no, that's not working. It doesn't want to go over those letterings, or that's just me, one of the two. I just can't use it. I just use this. My fingers are too fat. Fingers are too fat. Too much. Fingers are too fat. Okay. Still looks all right. All right. Hold on. That's that one. Oh, hard to decide. Okay, let's try. Oh, look, I've done. Oh, well. See, that's not really raised, so. Well, it is, but it isn't, so I'm just going to. Oh, it looks pretty, but, you know, it is a beautiful colour, that peacock. That's pretty too, that um, Heather Hills, that would be nice on a gold. Yeah, well, that's a peacock. Okay. I'm going to cut them out, stick it on, see what it looks like. But in the meantime, before I do that, because I need to um, let them dry, oh, I should polish them. Have I got a soft cloth? No. Okay, hold on. This is a pretty clean cloth. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to paint a um okay, well let's let's paint this little one. I'm gonna just use acrylic paints, I think, and let's do a mixture. We'll do a sort of a bit of a wash. Oh go away. Oh, that's right. Where do you little that one? That's quite nice. Let's get that one. A bit off. Alrighty. Okay. I just want to use that as my. Um, that looks quite pretty. I can't see the purple much in there, but there is some purple in there. Okay. Um, right. Bit of deep turquoise, just a little bit. Oh, I'd say just a little bit. And why don't we do some um, PDO, iridescent blue green or whatever it is. And then a bit of white. I'll just use some gesso. And give that a mix and put it on. God knows what's on these brushes because they've been in there for a couple of days. Okay. Okay. Let's get a bit of water on there. And let's just swipe it over. Looks pretty. 
pretty color. Okay. Um, okay, another bit of paper. Oh dear. Let's just add a little bit more water. And let's just put in there. There's the start of a background. Okay. Our watercolor background. <laughs> That's a nice color. All right. Let's get tissue. Okay. Now on this one, I should do the black um black ink and versamar uh, and um, embossing powder. On there, let's have it in cut. And I'll do what shall I do? What colour on top of that one? Oh, why don't we just do the perfect pearl? That's pearl colour, so that'd be nice. It should be dry enough. <laughs> okay. Um, probably should get this on here. And then we'll ink this up with the black. Now. Should I? Maybe I do a white. Maybe I do a white. Um, maybe we do a white. I think. What are you doing? I'm going to. What am I doing? Um, good question, CB. I'm going to watercolor onto that. It won't react again because it's dried acrylic. So if I ink on the white ink and then clear and emboss it, and then I can go in and color it with the perfect pearl. White ink. Okay. What are you going to tell me different? What am I supposed to do? So I'm going to ink directly onto there. <laughs> I don't know, CB. Just having a play. Okay, I've never done this before, so I'm going to have a go. And white, what have I got? Posh white is a good one. It's an archival ink, so I've got to get ready really quickly. I could just ink it with Bursamark and clear emboss it, but this will do.
we'll see anyway. Put it on there. Okay, oh, I still I must not um, push down hard enough on that side. Oh, is that so pretty? Hold on. Why am I using embossing powder? Oh, it's a messy thing. Not as bad as glitter, though. All right, let's heat emboss this. It's called clear, not white. Sort of pale white in the background. That's okay. Probably should have done the darker colour. I'll probably still go out and no, stuff it. That'll do. All right. I'm going to get the um the perfect pearl, perfect pearls, and I reckon the gold would look nice with this. Okay, and then, okay, excuse the sniffles. I'm going to clean this stamp off. Hang on, it's got pigment ink on it. Right, okay. 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 Well, that gives that time to dry, and then I will. <sighs> Some of I love that one here, guys. And then a little bit of gold. This might let's see. Yeah, it's hard. I can see it, CB, but um, yeah, I can imagine how hard it is for you. Given your old eyes. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to start off with this one. Just random places. So the gun that came outside the edge. Oh, that wasn't quite dry. Wet, if you know what I mean. All right, let's get the pool now. <laughs> yeah, well, that's going to be grumpy, gloopy. Okay. See how this is going to turn out, eh? Might be crap. Oh, 
pull that. And the pen. Oh, that's really gloopy. Okay. Not enough water on it. That's okay. We can work with it. I'm going to cut this out anyway, so what's the point of bum? Thinking on it, I wonder what he you say. Maybe I'm not going to cut it out. Don't know. And then maybe we do. I might need to loosen up a bit there. Does look a bit pretty. I didn't quite. Uh, let's it's quite delicate. It's quite pretty. You can't really see the pearl too well, but it looks quite pretty on a card. It might look all right. But you can do it. So let's see. I'm going to cut out. Where'd it go? Um, where did it go? Where'd the black one go? I got it. Okay. Let's cut that out quickly to see how we go. Yeah, I could go back to bed, you know. And it's only 12.35, middle of the day. We go make a bolognese in a minute. We don't have to do it this afternoon. We get it over the road. Gonna have pasta with it. Not cutting it out too well. I wanted to have that ridged edge left, but not going too well with it. But anyway, you get you get the drift. And I'd put the, um, wherever I put it, I'll draw the, um, draw the head, uh, the head, the antenna. All right. Oh, let's get this. I really don't like it on there. at all um that looks pretty that looks pretty it's a bit dark so maybe it needs to be on a lighter background that is pretty though I don't like it on this one. I think that's pretty boring. Maybe that should have been rainbow colours. Anyway, you get the drift. 
use stencil stamps, use it as a watercolor, use it dry. And that's it. I've got to really play around a bit more with it to see what else we can come up with. Some of the white, the white might have looked better on that. Tell you what, this is a pretty background though. I love this one. That looks pretty. I think we could do that as a card back. Sort of up here, going off it, and then a sentiment down there. I think we could do that. I'll do it and show you a pic of it. Oh, I need to to go. I think people, I've had, i just yeah, not feeling, not feeling it, not feeling so well. Um, we've been on for an hour and a half anyway, so um, not too bad, I guess. Thanks for helping me out, CB. This is a pretty one too. I could put something on that. Maybe that one would look nice on that. Cut that out and put it on there. I think that would look nice too. Okay. Even when you coat the mould with perfect pearls for resin, it looks much better if the resin is coloured. Ah, with the black or another dark colour, yeah. It really did, CB. Oh, it's awful. Hot chicken broth. Yep, that's it. Okay, thanks for hanging, guys. Sorry it wasn't more fun, but, I mean, <laughs> you should see my mess. I'm going to take a photo of it and show you. Okay, thanks, guys. I will catch you um, next week, if not before. I hope I can catch someone's stream lately. It's just been so, they've just been so early. Okay, guys, thank you. I'll catch you all later. Live and learn, right? That's it, CB. Thanks, Cindy. Bye.